evening. We here at Coney Productions really treasure uh, family tradition. Because of that, today I'll be reading the story of the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung to the chimney with care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. The children were knessled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. And out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Low battery. Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday objects blow. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Olas. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Saint Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished in ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose, like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe, as he held tight in his teeth, the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. That's not good for you, Santa. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. Actually, he's not an elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went right to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night slash evening. Depends when you're watching this video. Or good morning, I don't even know. Ah!